like I say, guys, back, come back today. Um, trying to solve the problem with the the rattly um, exhaust valve in here. Um, so, been doing a little bit of investigation, and I have actually solved the problem of mine rattling, and I will explain how and why it was rattling and how I've stopped the problem. So I think I'll just spin camera around and explain why it does it. It's gonna be easier just to have it on the bench and show you. So um, let's go to the bench and see what's happening. Right, so the problem is, is in here, you've got a joining clip. Now this is the valve which obviously twists inside here twists this shaft which then this clip here joins to the valve inside the pipe now before I did what I was doing um, I did sort of work out um, why it was rattling so let me just take take this off quickly and I'll show you So what you have when the clip's out, which I'll take out now, is this valve here, which if you twist this, like this, inside there, you can see that, that that's how the, and the, that's really loose, really loose. Um, and also what I noticed at the time was that this shaft can go up and down like this. I'll show you inside there. Hopefully you can see it in there. Now when I was um, when I was looking at this and trying to work out why it was rattling, there was two thoughts going through my mind. One was that the clip, which this is what the clip looks like. I'll just show you on there or on here maybe you might show better. Um I was I thought that maybe the um the clip was loose in the um the slot where that joins onto it's hard to show you so I thought there was some play in this clip going left and right and then also um it might be easier to show you on the valve actually um but there was this play in in this valve like this. Um, so let me turn it around this way. So there's a slot. This clip goes into this slot into the valve, and then you got this movement left and right. Now I thought originally it was because it was vibrating, vibrating like this, and then also on the top clip. When I took it all to bits and then realised that this, oh, sorry, this way around, this lifts up and down. In there, you can hear it clicking, clonking. Um, that made me think that this clip here should be given some downward pressure onto that valve to seat it down tight because when you look or when I look through this it's going to be very difficult to show you at the moment it's all the way down when I lift up I can't you can see daylight through it I don't know if you can quite see that I can't see either I can see it through the bottom but it's hard to show you so when it's down it's completely sealed and when I pull pull up you can see slight daylight through there so in my thinking that should be that clip should be pushing downward pressure onto that. Um, so when I investigated it a bit more, um, I realised that by that being pushed down, the clip would then be really tight pushed on the bottom of this bit and the top the top of this the valve here. So it's sort of given it's sort of there's pressure that way. 
um, on both of this and that. Now I know on the Miltex, because obviously this is a Scorpion, I know on the Miltex they've got like a solid sleeve that s sits over this and then over this bit of the valve. Um, but I do think they rattle as well. Um, but on the OEM one, this the 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 the, um, the socket that this this goes into a socket onto the valve, um, and this is perfectly fitted to the socket on that valve on the OEM exhaust. I tried it earlier, and there's no way that'd rattle. Um, so what I've done is I realised that my clip was sort of squashed a bit like that now I've got it under a bit of pressure so what I've managed to do is you can see that that's quite springy um, I'm just going to open it up a little bit more than how it is to give it some pressure so it's when you clamp the um, this the valve down onto the exhaust it's actually going to be like that and then squeezing it in to the valve which should hold everything tight um, and I'll show you that now I'm just gonna sort of I've only stretched this the other day to see if it worked and it did so I just want to put a little bit more force on this um, just to to make it extra um, tight I don't want to be taking this off like every I don't know, couple of months to bloody sort this out so I'm just gonna clamp that bit there I did this by hand before on the drive and I can only do it because it's quite strong this metal but in the vice <clears throat> yeah that's opened up a lot now that was sort of straight now it's open like that as such so um, if I put this back together now I don't know which camera shows this better um, so you got to make sure the valve's open, which is twisted that that way. Um, this rests in the groove, like so. What you want to do is just put your finger there so it don't fall out, and then this goes into get that into the groove of the the valve, like so. So look, now you can see that the clip, let me come over this camera, I might show you better, that the clip is in the clip. Can you see that? It's in the clip. And the valve is obviously proud at the moment, because I've put no pressure on it, of the valve. So what I, what I by by squeezing this down, like so, it's put a lot of pressure now onto this clip and it's so much tighter. Um, so let me just bolt this up and I'll run, sort of show you then how it looks. Right, so now that clip's back in. Like so. It's, it's still, it's still play in it, but because it's now pushing down on that valve, it's stopped the rattling. So, um, yeah, that's that's how I, I've solved the problem. So, um, I'll put this back on the car now. I'll put a clip in. Um, now of how it sounded before when you done cold start up um, and then I'll um, fit this and then we'll see if it vibrates or rattles when when I start up so let's just go back outside and fit it on I probably won't film fitting it's literally slide on over the back box do a clamp up and it's done so I'll I'll put a clip in now of the vibration and then the next clip will be me starting up with this on and fitted up and hopefully there'll be no vibration so um, I'll be back in a bit
Okay, so as you can see from the video that's just been playing, um, yeah, that that has solved the problem, and and you could, I think, I could hope slightly hear it rattling as well when when you revved it um, before I fixed it. So, um, I yeah, I that's that is definitely solved the problem on my exhaust. I'm not going to say it's going to fix the problem on everybody's exhaust, um, but. If you have a definitely have a scorpion exhaust and your valve is rattling, I would it literally all you need is a I think it's a 16 mil socket. Just wiggle the valve off. They because mine's been on there a little while now. You just literally wiggle it up and down side to side, and you'll just notice that it's just sort of gradually creeping off the back box. Um, so just keep wiggling it and get it off. Um, make sure you unplug the the valve it's literally one little plug if you watch my install video i'll put a link in um you'll see um how to get that plug undone so that will then obviously let you just slide the whole thing off with the tip you don't even need to take the tip off the valve uh to to, to then obviously all there is is this three allen key bolts on the top and it, it comes off i mean anyone with a socket set and a, and a couple of allen keys be able to take that off so um that's and, and all you need is just, just to make sure that spring is pulled open make sure when you lay the valve on top of the the house in which it bolted down to you've got a good sort of 20 mil gap 15 to 20 mil gap before you start compressing it down um that's what mine was like and it's made a difference it doesn't rattle at all now um one more thing I want to speak about before I go, and something that I didn't realise happened on these um, Mark 8s until the other day when someone was following me. Um, I was being followed by a friend, and they said, did you realise that your valve keep open and shutting when you're driving along? And I sort of said, no, I just presumed that when it was in race or sports mode, the valve was constantly open, and it isn't. And it shouldn't be either because uh, I put a question out to um, the Mark 8 Owners Club page I'm on on Facebook. I'll put a link here somewhere of, of who they are. And I asked a question on there, and there a lot of people came back saying no, they do. The valve does open and shut. It depends on the throttle position, uh, where what revs you are, uh, are in. Uh, and lots of different things if you're cruising along on the motorway at a constant speed I think it shuts um, so now I also ask what happens if you just have the valve unplugged so default mode I believe is just completely open um, so by doing that it will throw an engine management light up on the dash apparently I haven't tried it yet um, and then obviously I think when you plug the valve back in the light will go out automatically so I'm probably in one of my next videos um, I'm going to try that on the valve just by unplugging it starting the car up and see what happens um, go for a drive with the valve unplugged and see if I can notice a difference from how the exhaust sounds with the valve plugged in and, and unplugged because uh, you can buy um, from somewhere which I'm not sure where yet uh, 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 like a remote control valve which will um, the valve I think stays plugged in but there's another module that plugs in which you can then manually open and shut up because um, I've been told you can't map it out which I'm surprised you can't to be fair um, and I haven't actually at this stage been to have my custom map put on the car so it will be a question I will be asking Sam at Hybritune if there is something that we can do to just make sure when you're in sports or track mode the valve is open all the while I don't know if he'll be able to do anything about it or not probably not to be fair but it's a question I can ask and I will look into maybe getting the valve somehow of which I can then manually keep the valve open all the time I don't really want to lose the facility of having the valve shut in normal mode because it is quite handy and especially like when I'm at 
when I'm at work and stuff and I'm pulling up to um, clients and customers places at least I can be a little bit sort of undercover as such um, I don't want to be pulling up in a, in a noisy car but how it is at the moment is perfect because I put it in, in man, um, normal mode and the car doesn't really sound too much louder than you wouldn't have thought it had a custom exhaust on but you can definitely notice a difference with the valve open so um, I want to still try and keep the best of both worlds I don't know if anybody out there has got a, a suggestion obviously put some comments below if, if someone's got a better solution to this and if someone's mapped it out I mean I'd be really interested to see if someone has had it mapped out by somebody um, because that means that I should be able to get mine mapped out with um, hybrid tune and the software they're using um, uh, I don't know like I said this is this is all a learning curve for a lot of us um, especially me I've learned in the last six months of owning the car massive amount about these cars and my knowledge is getting more and more uh, which is good for me uh, so yeah anyway next videos are planning are um, obviously get the map sorted out which is the 1st of August um, the date now is the 18th so I don't know my videos are normally sort of two weeks behind the date that they are so you won't be seeing this till two weeks after the 18th something like that anyway um, and same with the 1st of August one you probably won't see that till sort of the middle of the August um, I just like to keep a couple of videos buffered up so if I can't do something on one weekend at least I can still try and do a weekly video that's my plan anyway whether that that keeps happening because I've got a lot coming up myself late soon I've got um, I've got I'm going to be moving house soon um, I've got to build myself a custom workshop at my new place where we're going um, I'm gonna have better places to do work and whatnot where we are going or where I am going so um, there shouldn't be so many cars keep going past like they do here uh, that's not the reason I'm moving don't get me wrong but um, it's gonna be better so um, and then obviously I want to put I've been looking into some a back or I back um, Lawrence Springs, but they do also do an Annie Roll Bar kit for this now as well. I'm just trying to find out the best place to get it from. So if someone knows where the best place to get the Anti Roll Bar. I want to get the EBAC ones really, and um, with the 20 mil Lawrence Springs. You, I think you can buy it as a combined kit, but um, it might just be someone that's bundled it together. Um, yeah, if someone knows the best place to get that. I want to get that ordered up sort of fairly soon, and I want to put um, the sort of lip kit skirt kit on the bottom and the bottom front spoiler splitter side skirts and the uh, um, uh, little spats on the back and I want to get a, a new rear diffuser as well I think I have said in a, in a previous video there's uh, um, Maxon design I think there's two specific sorts one sticks out quite a bit and the other one's quite subtle but it's all black and it does look quite smart so I want to get the, the subtler looking one uh, so that will be sort of coming up in the next sort of month or so for me from there onwards I do want to do something to the brakes I don't think I really want to do a big brake kit purely because I'm not really a track, track man the brakes on the car for me are alright at the moment to be honest with you but I think it would benefit from having um, some new uprated discs and some uprated pads and probably change the brake lines and the fluid in the car just I think that will make a difference um, just for me noticeably um, only for obviously because I'm only using on the road really I mean I wouldn't mind spinning it around the track at some point but one I don't want to damage the car I know I can get a bit leery when I'm on a track so um, yeah, it might be something I take my beamer and do instead, just for a bit of a, a bit of a giggle for me, really. But we'll, I don't know, we'll see. So, um, yeah, just please like and subscribe um, to my channel. The the more growth I get, the more I can do. Um, I just enjoy doing this, so um, it's, I'm not going to stop. Uh, all the comments I get, I do try and answer. Um, I do get asked a lot of the same thing all the while so if I haven't answered your question 
I probably have already answered it somewhere else. Uh, just flick through lots of the comments and you'll you'll probably come across it somewhere. I will at some point do, um, I've got a list I've started to make of like frequently asked questions and I'll probably just sit down one day and go through these certain questions and answer them all at once. So but anyway, like and subscribe to the videos. Um, the comments are great, keep the comments coming in. Um, and yeah, definitely see you on the next one. So stay safe out there.